Hello, my name is Cathy Barker. I'm a portrait artist um, and I also teach life drawing classes specifically. I trained at Wimbledon School of Art and did classical portrait painting in Florence, Italy. I believe everybody can draw. Um, that's what I teach in my classes. So let me tell you about circling. It keeps it very simplified, like the wooden mannequin that you see that artists use. You're simplifying the shapes in the same manner when you see the life model before you. You're starting off with, you know, very loose circle shapes of which you can overlap one shape into the other. It stops you outlining the figure and becoming rigid so that you stay stuck. It allows you to move your edges in a very free flowing way until you're more happy with what you've got. And then you can start articulating and stressing points. So it's good for interlocking shapes and it's good for moving your shapes. The other exercise that I want to talk about is what I refer to as matchstick men. This is very, very useful in terms of getting your balance posture right in the figure. It's all very well to have drawn the figure, but if she's toppling over, going to fall backwards or forwards, or her balance just doesn't look right, it's because you've done the outside of the edges instead of the inner structure of the body. This exercise enables you through actually physically drawing plumb lines, simplifying inner structures. This, this is a leg. It's just a matchstick. One line tells me the direction in which that leg's going, articulation point for a dot. Another line tells me where the calf from the knee to the ankle is going. And then very quickly establishing this plumb line in relationship to the head. So head, plumb line, and, and, and the shift of the back from a side view. From a front view, you, you know that the body has a sort of soft S curve. But again, same principle from the pit of the neck, I'm drawing the plumb line straight down to the ground very early on and literally articulating a match, saying that's the direction of my matchstick line for the foot uh, so that I can start to create the figure before I go outlining with my beautiful marks of the outside edges of a, of a limb, a leg. I personally find these techniques are complementary to each other. In my own work, I use the one to align my limbs, legs, whatever, in the right position, and for the other to find the rhythm of the body to flesh out. And I believe that everybody can do this. Mm -hmm.